Welcome back to the Spice Paradise. It's your boy Taj. It's your boy Howie. Boy CJ. You guys are back to watch a react. We're gonna deliver a react. So, <gasps> what's today's react, boys? Since we're this? still in October, we reacted to something scary. Creepy. Gotta keep the theme going. Let's go. Your Let's watch something web. creepy today. Uh, ten scariest deep web videos that you shouldn't watch or something. Mm. Don't watch them. But watch it with us. But if you're with us, I think yeah, <laughs> don't search it up. <laughs> don't search it. Don't download it. Don't search it up. All right, let's start it up, boys. Video has been making rounds on the dark web for a while and has only recently come to the surface. In it, something human shaped, wrapped in garbage bags, is taped up and kept in various strange poses in a chair at the bottom of steps and so on every hell? so often a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object at one point he even tries to give it food in the bathtub despite there being no mouth hole towards the end of the video he puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins to carve into it this video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies on a real person. For all we know, this could be the aftermath of a Red Room video. Number 9. A YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web sub forum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. I can't even show you most of the thread titles, let alone what's in them. But I'll put it like this. The people here are looking for stuff that would easily get your door kicked in by the cops. After going through a few pages, Surviving Life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. I don't know exactly how this person expects to buy an infant, or how much a reasonable price is. Thankfully, Surviving Life does not click on the link to find out. I did notice it seems to have 14 replies though, which leaves me with a terrible sinking feeling inside. You might think all of these requests are fake, but apparently Surviving Life has seen versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous and the people on it this isn't the first time they put a site together like this. This is this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the contents move. And provides us with some more insight about its long history. He soon grows too disgusted with all of humanity and logs off for the day. I think that the website is probably 100% real, but I would like to get your opinion based on this video evidence shown here. Number 8. This grainy black and white video was supposedly taken back in 1999 when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a Red Room show, which is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next. Kind of like a more interactive version of the movie Saw. Whoa. She is clearly in distress, though I'm not sure if this is real or just acting. <laughs> This scene seems realistic enough to make me uncomfortable. I'd like to get your opinion as to what is going on here. She could be a paid actress, and this could be from a movie for all I know. We may never discover the real answer, unless more of the video surfaces from the deep web. Number 7. Another supposed Red Room video shows a person wearing a large hood over their face, looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than 4 minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. <laughs> Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in one piece. Number 6 Dang. 
A YouTuber named Amir returns to the dark web after getting many requests from his followers to do so. The first thing he finds is a strange collection of texts promoting superhuman abilities through special muscle exercises. Overall, the detailed instructions sound really complicated, futuristic, and weird. Then at the bottom, okay. Amir comes across a strange date of publication that leaves him scratching his head in puzzlement. Based off of I want to try this. The first moves of okay. okay, consist of continuously contracting very hard. He grows tired of reading the mountain of text and comes across this creepy dark website next. It's nothing more than a still photo of a man with huge black bags under his eyes, staring you down with a knowing grin. I don't recognize the photograph from any place, but I would like to know if you have. I am not making this up. <laughs> This is literally the page. There is apparently a secret place on the page you can click to proceed, but Amir can't find it and moves on to the strangest dark web discovery yet. Kidney for sale. Shoes price negotiable. Buyer pays for all travel, accommodation, and surgery costs. There are pages upon pages of organ donors looking to sell their guts for some quick cash. Based on the outrageous demand for organ donors and the long waiting list to get one, I have little doubt that this message board is real. The listings are quick, to the point, and highly detailed. Number 5 a YouTuber named ITGuru360 is making a tutorial about how to access the dark web when he comes across a cryptic video that he has never seen before. Long strings of binary code fly under the watchful gaze of a floating skull face. Some people say the skull somehow feels mesmerizing and that it was created to lull you into an altered state of mind, perhaps even insanity. If anyone can translate this programming language into English, then please let me know. Oh, and as for this shape-shifting strange face that's in the same video, I'm not even sure that I want to know. Somehow I doubt its backstory is anything good. Number 4 Gabe Helmy and Darcy Young decide to push their luck on the dark web and see what they can uncover. It isn't long before they discover a secret website meant for selling everything, including some really creepy items too. Soon afterwards, they find a website that is supposedly made by Russian hackers who can get into just about anything. It looks like their service costs around $2,000 on average mm. based on current Bitcoin prices. Damn. You can even bring down a website for 24 hours for $12,000. But that hardly seems worthwhile. Something about this website design looks very amateurish, so I'm not sure it is real. Number 3. Chloe Alliang is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. She arrives at a sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. The hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tap me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. She wakes up in the trunk of a car zipped inside of a black bag, take her to a secluded room and finally reveal her fate. He says, you've already been put up for sale. They put you up for sale? Yeah. Where? Uh, on the dark web. This is where the story gets kind of weird. She says that after six days, her captives did not want any money and felt bad, so they let her go. What? I guess this is possible, but when one of the men was eventually caught, he said that she told him to do it as a way for her to get famous. Some people also no say she does not look sincere in her press statement. What do you guys think? I think I she's think probably fake. telling the she, truth. She faked it? I'm not really yeah, sure what to I think, think at this I think point. For clout? Number yeah, two. Yeah, but that shit's real though. Like, like uh, yeah, 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 for sale? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Kidnapping? Soon he finds himself reading some extremely bizarre tutorials that leave him stunned. He like tutorials on how to like eat people and cook them. It's like it's a regular thing for these people. Look at this. All article on how to... Damn. Do that. I don't think Sir John would ever do anything like this himself, but as I watch his curious reaction to the materials, Holy. I can't wonder how many other people have been actually introduced to this in exactly the same manner. Number There's one, things happening. Kenneth Freeman began filming himself doing horrible things with his daughter Vicky sometime during the 90s. 
These terrible videos grew worse and worse for well over a year. As he became more elaborate and sadistic, he was sharing them online the entire time for many years. Vicky did not feel safe enough to report what was done to her for four years at the age 14. Damn. Her father fled all the way to China, but he was discovered and taken to trial one year later. Wow. He was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. Sadly, the Vicky series continues to be traded online to this day and has become infamous among dark web sickos everywhere. It's disgusting to think how people are still finding pleasure in her grief all these decades later. But as long as the dark web continues to exist, there is little that can be done. Most people go their entire lives without needing to call 911. Oh. But the next time something bad happens, don't be surprised when those... Th Wow, yeah. that was uh, the dark yeah. web is crazy. No? It's yeah. actually creepy. Yeah. It's illegal to access that, right? Like, I don't know. I'm it's always illegal to access. I'm always like I scared, or bought, I don't want to. Do, I thought like, people bought like um, VPN like, yeah, VPNs like, and uh, shit like that. I mean, it's not illegal to access them. It's more illegal to act upon any of them. And but do you believe like most of these? Like, I think they're real. You know? Like a lot of them are not. But you think it's troll? A lot, yeah, a lot, yeah, of, a lot of them is troll probably because you know you get a lot of people watching and you get people transfer bitcoins mm -hmm. right uh, um no, but it's so some of them like, it, since it's it's dark web like which one are you talking about you think it's troll like uh, uh some of these maybe like uh maybe like red room stuff or oh, okay, like okay. That. but i know that some of them might be real yeah because mm -hmm. um like the the human consumption like tutorial stuff like I that's think creepy it sounds so mm -hmm. if it's detailed like that then i think I yeah. think it's real. It might be real. Like, Bro, you can find a lot even of Even the, the human there. trafficking stuff, like, yo, people get kidnapped. I think that there's real. a lot of Yo, a lot of people get kidnapped. Yeah, that's like a huge they problem. They disappear and, the, yeah. Mm. And they just I've become seen that. When I was young, too, slaves, like... Slaves, sex slaves. And all yeah. that. I was learning... We learned that in school, too, about, like, uh, you know, people being traded. And there are yeah. movies about that, documentaries, and it's Damn, completely yeah, disgusting. Yeah, it's crazy, you know? yeah. Um, but, yeah, those are creepy to watch either way, because if they are real... Who are these people doing this stuff? Anyways, oh, yeah. creepy video. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Taj. Boy Howie. Boy CJ. And we out. Peace. Peace. Peace out.